All right, guys, I'm setting up. I got my, my camera on here and we're gonna get started. Dawn is pulling up the link now so you can answer any of your questions. You guys can also um, ask any questions if you want. Dawn will be able to read them to me. And this is where I'm gonna be working and you guys need to keep me entertained. Dawn, are you ready? Dawn is not happy seeing me about this, but it's gotta get done. So my plan is that I'm going to start from down here and work my way up. And eventually we're gonna to have to stop once I get to where the feet are up there and let it dry so I can take it down a notch and then put it back on. But I'm only gonna be able to get up to right there for now. So, upon no further ado, oh. Hey, stop. What? Fix the ladder. Why? I just needed to be up higher on it. This isn't my first ladder rodeo, homie. All right. So I got my unicorn spit in my bucket here. And it's um, cut about five parts water. Yeah, I did five parts water. And thanks, babe. Here we go. The very first layer is going on all the way to the edges. I'm going to take this all the way up. I learned my lesson on that already once. Up as high as I can get it. Then I'm going to just drag and let it drip. Now I got towels up on the top of this so that if anything cools at the bottom, it won't drip so bad. I'm really trying hard to protect my floors. Really hard. Because they are carpet and unicorn spit will stain the dickens out of them. And I'm going over them twice just so that I can make sure that they run real good.
anytime. Just make sure that you plug her back in when you're done. Crazy looking? Mm-hmm. Now it doesn't look real coppery right now because um, it doesn't get real metallic looking until after it's dry. So the micas that are in there are copper mica and oops, gotta get this straight. And they don't really make themselves present until they're dry. So you can't really see them right now. They're kind of being washed out with the blue pigment. But once it's dry, you'll see it real good. I need it a little bit more. You don't want to get your drip. You want it to be able to drip. So you got to make sure you get enough on your brush. I guess it's important to drag your brush at the same speed every time because that's gonna be how quickly it comes out onto your surface so gotta be careful doing it that you try to gauge yourself the same speed but it's gonna be okay and you give it a mild pressure just to kind of squeeze out of your brush what you're using. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to bring this up. Got it. Yep, a link. So we were looking everywhere for like an S hook and I couldn't find anything that I thought would work. And then I was like, oh, what about the thing that holds your coats on the back of the stair, back of the door? And we have plenty of those. Don't they look like little trees upside down or something, like little horizons? Too bad there isn't a way to do this in reverse, where it was like anti-gravity and flowed upward. Wouldn't that be cool? But this is also why you have to go from the bottom to the top. If you do the bottom to the top, you don't go over your, your little lines. It would be neat to like pre-cut. Well, I missed there. It would be cool to like pre-cut your wood maybe and make a veneer and have it ready to go. I think that would be an option to be able to get the image in reverse. I'm sure this is level. I'm trying not to go off kilter. Okay, I'm gonna do one more line before I get up on my my big ladder because I'm not really looking forward to that. Okay. on there. All right, here we go, honey. I'm going to go around the other way. Just come down. Um, ready, hold her. Oh, Jesus. Ah, okay, here we go. Don't film my butt the whole time. Well, I'm trying to situate here. You're okay. You can go put the phone. I'll stand still. Go put the phone on its charger. I got you. Thingy. Okay, you sure? Yep. Okay. All right. Here we go. It's going to be a little bit more difficult because I have to work around this ladder. Okay, 
and then we come back and do the edges later. Again, my unicorn spit is diluted with five parts water. Let's so make sure blue thunder, midnight blackness, and maybe almost like a navy. And then I added some um, copper Athena to it to give it a copper luster that it'll have here in a little while. It's so cool looking, babe. Really loving it. Should we maybe come back later? Show them the yeah, you want me to come back once I get this finished? Okay, yeah. guys, well... Because right now I can't film anything, really. All right, well, go ahead. You can let go of the letter. I feel very safe. Well. So we'll tune back in um, once this dries, and I move on to up there. Okay, guys? We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.